value. Today we're going to talk about value. On your screen, you are looking at the seven elements of art. If you remember, the elements of art are those special ingredients to make your art look a little bit better. You've already looked at value as a first grader when we painted our ice cream cones. Here's a picture of our value ice cream cones in case you forget. Our value ice cream cones go from light to dark. Remember, we had three or four or two scoops of ice cream, however many you chose. And you had to paint one light, one a little bit darker, and then one the actual color that you were using. This is called a value scale. It shows you how the colors go from light to dark. This color looks like it's probably gray, so it starts off very, very light gray. And then with every rectangle, it gets a little bit darker until it's black. Here is a picture of how an artist uses value in his artwork to make this circle drawing look more realistic or three-dimensional. What does realistic mean? It looks like that circle is not just flat on the piece of paper. It almost looks like we could reach our hand inside of that picture and fit our whole hand around that ball. The artist was able to do that by the value that he or she used. If you look on the bottom, you can see that big oval dark black circle. That's called a shadow. Artists will use shadows in their artwork to make it look more realistic as well. Our value project for today is to make a value scale feather like you see here. Here are some feather examples you can look at to start drawing your feather in just a minute. Go back to this, this part in the video and hit pause so that you can look at these feathers for inspiration. Okay, boys and girls, here I have the feather paper that you guys saw in the video already, and I have the feather that I have already drawn. For your feather, you may draw your feather like one of these, or you could create your own. The cool thing about feathers is that they all look different, so it could look like anything you want it to look, look like. I can show you on the back how I got started with my feather. I was using this one as my inspiration and I just went up and I kind of just did a big tall swoop and then I came down for my stem. Most feathers have a little stem that sticks out of the bottom and the way you're going to be able to tell that it's a feather is if you take a line that goes right up the middle. Now it's up to you if you want it to touch the top or not. And then you could start to add little designs and details if you want. These are kind of like the, almost like the stems on a leaf. Feathers have the same thing. You could put designs on it if you wanted to, or you could wait until after you've put the value on your feather. So while I'm on the back, I want to show you a special, don't tell a special secret about the crayon. Now I have just one purple, well it's blue-violet crayon here, but there is a trick. Depending on how hard you push on your paper, you can get multiple colors from this one crayon. If you color really soft and wispy and you can't really hear your crayon because you're coloring so light, it will be very, very, very light purple. I could probably even get lighter than this. Oh my gosh, I can. You can barely even see that. You push a little bit harder, it gets a little darker. Maybe if you're just coloring regular, it'll look like this. And then if you push so super, super hard where you might break the crown's tip. No, we don't want to do that. Be nice to our crowns. But you see how I'm filling it in nice and dark, and I'm not leaving any white spots. So it looks way darker. This is exactly what I want you to do on your feather. So flip it over. You could start dark, or you could start light. It's up to you. I'm going to start 
light. So I barely am going to color my feather. A very light, soft purple. And then as you start moving up your feather, I want you to start to push a little bit harder. And you should slowly start to be able to see your feather get darker. If this seems like it's pretty tricky for you, come up to the top and start coloring super, super, super dark. All right, so one more view. Here is my finished value feather. See value, it starts dark and then it slowly gets a little bit lighter. One more thing before you get started. Now I just showed you how to get a bunch of different colors from this crown, but be nice to your crowns. Try your very, very hardest not to break your crown in half or break the tip off because when you're coloring super hard and you're gritting your teeth, it's very, very easy to snap our crowns in half. And you're at home and you probably don't have a whole bunch of crowns of the same color, so make sure you treat them kindly. And even though you're pushing, super 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 hard you can be careful and go slow so that you don't snap it in half all right i can't wait to see your value feathers you need to have you or your parent take a picture of your completed value feather you can submit it on canvas i will make an assignment tab to submit it in if that is too difficult for you you may take a picture of it and have your parent or you send it to me on class dojo or you may email it to me i just need to see your value feather have fun i miss you guys and i can't wait to see your feathers